to be apologizing for making a mistake guys and all this more team welcome back to the voice update so guys the redeemed christian church of god is currently trending after their general overseer papa deboye came out to say something that has over the time caused a very big controversy among people of the church and christianity as a religion the past few days the lord choosing has been trading too over some of the unbelievable testimony of some of their members and the pastor has came out to attack very dark man for actually speaking against him all this video is what i'll be showing you guys right now but before i do that if this is your first time of coming across my channel kindly subscribe like this video and drop a comment so guys after papa deboye came out to apologize to his church for what he has been saying about titan that if you don't pay tight you will not make everyone this has caused a lot of people talking and very dark man and that the phrase has reacted to this as well and you know that the phrase has always speak against titan you guys can remember a few months ago when uh, pastor ebed amina was speaking against the same issue of titan a lot of people were coming for for him and criticizing him as well calling him all sort of name and today the truth is gradually coming out so guys i'll be showing you guys what papa debo you said and what the lord choosing pastor also said to very dark man and add that the phrase and very dark man reacted to it i'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake for saying that if you don't pay tight, you, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, is he has peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God. Now, let me tell you, Listen to me. You know, it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. I prove it to you. I mean, I'm a scientist, so I know that. For years, we taught that light travels in straight lines. Now, is that correct? At least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say, sure, the light doesn't bend at corners, it goes straight. But later on we discover it's not just what, not straight as a rod, light travels in waves, going one direction, but in waves. It is wrong to limit you to 10%. At a time when some of you should be 20%, 30%, 40%, 10% should be for beginners. Giving should be violently. Violently. Uh, somebody came to talk to me uh, that somebody was talking about that case. He said, Pastor. Do you see a man that is speaking against us and the, the man said choosing to learn something in a hard way and he mentioned the name of the man that was a few when this thing was going on he said one man they call very dark man very dark he said he said well, choosing will learn something in a hard way i said no choosing will not learn something in a hard way and he is the one that will learn something in a hard way what is happening today is learning it what if you know the person I'm talking about, I just only made a statement. He said, choosing people will learn something in a hard way. And I said, that same man will learn, no, not we. He will learn something in a hard way. I don't know whether he's learning it today. Who knows who I'm talking about? I didn't speak evil of him. I only say, no, no, we're not. Uh, he said his name is very bad, that, that man. I said, no, it's him that will learn something the hard way. And I'm telling you, as soon as I said that statement, he's not learning something what? You don't hear what I'm saying? So I don't want to speak evil because if I speak evil, it will happen. 
If I say anything negative, anything evil, it will happen immediately. So I cannot say anything against any man. But somebody can say, you know, somebody was worried. He said, he's speaking evil against us. And he, this his statement is what? Choosing to learn something in a hard way. And I say the name is very dark man. I'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake. For saying that if you don't pay tight, you, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, is he at peace with all men and holiness, without which well, no man shall I'm really happy about see God. What Papa Deboye just revealed. So I'm waiting for all those pastors, the likes of David Biomi, that will say give tithes, that are always preaching about tithes, that if you don't give tithes, this one will happen, that one will happen. The number one man of all the religious church people in Nigeria has come out to apologize. That is sorry for saying that if you don't pay tithes, you will not make heaven. That is not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. Which other things have they told us that is not in the Bible? That's what I'm concerned about. Which other thing have they told the people that is not in the Bible? How many things have they manipulated that is not in the Bible? You know, how many things? I am glad Papa Deboye came out now to say these things. So imagine the ones that will not come out and apologize. Imagine the ones that have manipulated the minds of people, that have converted, that have twisted the right words and the right message of the Bible to suit their own narrative. Just imagine. I am happy this came from the number one man. The number one man. I am happy. I appreciate and applaud Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the general overseer of RCCG, for his apology on tithing. Daddy, I appreciate the fact that you are courageous enough to agree that you made a mistake. You said it is wrong if you say that if you don't pay your tithe, you will not make heaven. I appreciate you, Daddy. And I also want to use this as a medium to apologize to you if my words seven years ago about this tithing issue were very harsh. I want to say this. Seven years ago when I came with the message of tithing, even Abel Damina then was still paying tithe and collecting tithe. It was my message, and there's a video to prove this, where Abel Damina said, I heard this guy, I did not like his approach, but he raised doctrinal issues. So the Abel Damina movement you are seeing today started with Daddy Freeze in 2017. 